So today I'm going to be talking about, uh, I've been looking for uh, a piece of uh, cardio equipment that's really small for my uh, gym that I have inside my house. So I've been looking around at different options and I used to have like a little bike. And, uh, I think little bikes are probably the best bet uh, for a small space. Uh, they're generally comfortable, but I recently had a, uh, a knee injury and so the specific movement on a bike was uh, very difficult uh, for me and it was causing me pain. So. I had to look for alternatives, and I'm still looking for alternatives. And one of the things that uh, I see that's kind of popular on Amazon, or uh, I've seen other people have, is uh, these little um, kind of pedal machines. And this is a Stamina E1000 uh, in motion. And I think this is like maybe five, six years old. Um, and it's somewhat heavy. Uh, and it's kind of robust. This one's kind of old and it's still held up relatively well. It's been housed in the garage and used periodically. And it's still kind of squeaky, but you can maintain it pretty well. And uh, it doesn't have a lot of features. It's got a knob for adjustment of uh, the resistance and it's got uh, kind of tell you how many steps you're doing with this little uh, thing here. And it doesn't take up a lot of space, as you can see. Um, the only thing that's kind of, uh, awkward on it is uh, as opposed to a bike if you want to do multiple things it can be somewhat um, challenging uh, pedaling and you get used to it but it's kind of a weird motion um, so if you're playing like a video game or you're uh, watching TV uh, it can be a little distracting uh, depending on how you do it or whatnot, you can go faster and you can increase or decrease the resistance. Um, for my knee, the motion is a little difficult for me, but I'm, I am recovering from a knee injury. Um, but I do, uh, I have read online that a lot of people say that these type of machines won't be able to give you uh, a good enough workout. You won't be able to, um, uh, you know, use it as a, as a um, cardio equipment, but uh, I disagree. Um, I mean, you use this for 30 minutes depending on the resistance and you'll definitely be feeling it, you'll be feeling it. Um, the unique thing about these type of machines is uh, you kind of feel it more in your core because you have to stabilize yourself a little as opposed to when you're just sitting on a bike, you just pedal, pedal, pedal. Um, so I do like that. I do like that this machine for how old it is, I mean, it's still in relatively good shape. Uh, it's not super cheap, uh, everything, uh, seems to be working okay, uh, and uh, the only thing is a little, it is a little heavy, and as you can tell, this one uh, hasn't been maintained that probably at all, from what I can tell, and you can tell uh, that just over time, you know, you get a um, kind of, there's some wear and tear and whatnot with this device uh, if used regularly, and I think this one was actually used pretty regularly. Um, I've also used this uh, at a, uh, while I'm working on a, uh, so I'd be on a, a desktop chair and be on a, a computer or a laptop. And I don't recommend it. Uh, I mean, I did use it for a while, but for me, um, as opposed to using uh, a treadmill desk or uh, doing some other type of, of cardio, it, it's not that great while you're working because you're sitting and your chair is normally not set into the ground. And so your chair is kind of moving a little. It also, as you can tell, um, it, this one makes noise. And even when you get a brand new, it's gonna make noise. So if you're in a, a, a place where you, that can be distracting, especially in like an office environment or whatnot. But I will say the footprint of this is very small. Um, since I have a, a home uh, gym set up with uh, my power blocks and my stand and my bench, uh, you can easily integrate something like this small uh, and there's different varieties or whatnot, but you don't want to get something that's too, uh, there's a lot of, this one is in relatively holds up well compared to the other ones I've used uh, that they break relatively easily. Uh, I mean, this one has been kind of abused for six years and uh, it's still working just as intended, uh, uh, you know, aside from the wear and tear or whatnot. So uh, I recommend uh, 
picking up a, a model something like this, uh, and I, I, they're not super expensive, but they're not not super cheap either. But uh, a lot a lot of times you can find them on like uh, used. Uh, places people tend to buy them and they get rid of them or whatnot. So uh, I recommend it if you really have no space. I mean, if you want to get uh, a treadmill, uh, they're going to be relatively large uh, amount of uh, space commitment. If you even uh, even I had like a, a fit desk bike that I'm not a huge fan of, but I did love it when I originally got it, um, and that doesn't take up a lot of space. But this um, doesn't take a lot of space, and most importantly, it's small, so you can put it under something or tuck it in something. So if you're really cramped on space, I recommend maybe getting something like this. Um, or, you know, if you if you uh, want to forgo it, you can just do cardio, <laughs> you know, outside or whatnot, or go for a walk or whatnot. But um, it is convenient if you want to multitask, which is how I try to integrate fitness in my life. If I want to do some power blocks and uh, watch TV, or I want to do some other type of activity, um, I can also, do cardio and watch a television show, or I can play on that handheld device. It is a little bit difficult. Um, I have a switch. I, I don't have it uh, right with me, but it is a little bit difficult used to getting used to the movement up and down while you're playing the switch. It is a lot easier on a bike, uh, such as like a, a fit desk or whatnot, where you can put your arms up and or put it on a little stand and just press the thing. Or uh, this is pro might be a little distracting while you're playing uh, video games too, because you are kind of moving up and down. Uh, uh, as opposed to when you're, you're stationary with uh, other devices like a treadmill or uh, a bike or whatnot. So I, I, I would just say try it and see if you like it. Um, this particular one, I had one uh, many, many years ago and I, I uh, unfortunately didn't hold on to it. So this is one of my friends that I'm just kind of playing around seeing if I wanted to buy it again or if I wanted to look for an alternative. So I'm still not sold. I'm still looking around, but uh, I do say, I will say that this is a, uh, a decent uh, way to get in cardio and uh, I think for most people it will be acceptable for what they're trying to do and and it is super convenient if you just want to hop on um, you can hop on I, I don't like uh, e even the, the new versions they do make quite a bit of noise uh, compared to like a bike or whatnot a treadmill would be even more you have a treadmill and you know take up a lot more space so it just depends what you're looking for whatnot and uh, uh, I would say give this a shot. This is the uh, Stamina In Motion E1000. I'm sure they have newer versions uh, now. But you know, I have seen on Amazon when you look for this type of equipment, it's been on the top 10 for a very long time. So uh, I think this is one of the better ones. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.